My name is Stacy King and I am a teacher. Um, when I decided to be a teacher, I had this image in my head of a traditional teacher where you have a classroom and your class and, and your teacher, you know, in the, in the general sense of the word. Well, about four years ago, I stumbled upon the opportunity to become an online teacher and, um, at least in my state, online education kind of has a bad rap um, because of the programs that have been run in my state that have not been extremely successful, um, passing rates of 20% um, or below um, students just not completing things, not a whole lot of student support. And so because of that, um, there's, there's not a whole lot of respect for online education. Um, the school that I teach with is a public school, and so it is free to um, students in the state of Utah, where I live. Um, and our program is amazing. Um, our completion rates are phenomenal. Um, for this last semester, I think our average completion rate was about 86%, which is unheard of. Um, at least in the state of Utah for online education. And I, I feel confident in saying that um, that's pretty, pretty cool elsewhere as well. Um, when I started teaching online, I had no training. I, um, my education classes in college were all about the traditional classroom setting. I've always, always loved technology, um, figuring things out. Um, finding new ways to do things using technology, but um, I've never been so deeply involved with technology. Um, three years ago, so my first year, I, I was learning the ropes of online. My second year of teaching online, I was asked to develop my own curriculum for several classes um, that were not offered by the curriculum company that we use. And um, I took on the challenge and jumped right in the platform that my district um, had purchased was Schoology and I had uh, maybe two hours worth of training on Schoology and then jumped in with both feet and I have loved <laughs> and hated every minute of it. Um, it's a lot of work. Um, developing curriculum, but it's so much fun and the things that I have learned, I've grown as a teacher and as a person. Um, through the process of um, becoming an online teacher and trying to kind of dispel the the stigma of online education as being not quality education. Um, I have worked really hard with our state department of education, um, with our district and, and, um, you know, the local school board to provide the same opportunities for my students that every other student in the state has. Um, I have teachers that, that try to say, well, how do you teach a foods class online? Um, if you're not right there giving them demonstrations and watching what they're doing, well, it's possible. And I've found ways to make it possible. Lots of videos, lots of pictures, um, and lots of one-on-one -on -one communication with students. And it's, it's very rewarding to be able to see these students succeed. Um, a large population of the students that we serve um, have have some kind of problem. They don't succeed in the traditional classroom setting for one reason or another. Um, illness, anxiety, um, some of our students are professional athletes or, um, you know, musicians and they need that time during the day to practice for the ones with, with, um, the mental disabilities like depression, they just, your depression and anxiety, they just can't function 
well in a normal school setting. And so it is so rewarding to me to be able to provide the opportunity for them to continue their education in a setting that works for them. Um, just this last school year, there were several students that would not have graduated had they not been able to take some of these online classes. And, and I love that I get to provide those opportunities um, by working for a school that, that helps students succeed in education in a way that works for them. I had one student this last semester in four classes at the same time and towards the end of the semester she was she was a senior she was one of those that probably wasn't on track to graduate and then she made it and over and over and over she told me that I was her favorite teacher and and I'd help helped her overcome um, lots of personal challenges and and to me I didn't I didn't see that I was helping her with that but for her to say that and for for um, me to know that what I do makes such makes such a big difference in the lives of these kids it's so rewarding and um, I I wouldn't change it for the world as I have learned um, through trial and error how to develop these courses and the ins and outs of Schoology I've, I've come up with lots of workarounds for different scenarios in my school um, to kind of deviate off the path of what we usually do for everyone and make make the situation work for these students that that struggle um, I have kind of become the Schoology go-to person uh, for my school we recently added um, a driver's ed course which is so cool that they can even do that online obviously they still have to do their driving portion in person but um, our driver's ed teacher had no idea I'd never worked with Schoology before our administrator um, hasn't used it as much as I have and so it was so fun for me to be able to share what I know with them um, and give them suggestions on how to make it work the best for the students and the teachers and I just I've developed a, a great love for um, technology integration and Schoology and making all of it work together um, and seeing the growth that I have had both personally and um, as a teacher is is the best and I love it and that is my story with online education and school achievement.